in the lab this morning at Diverse Dimensions and we've got a dial plate in front of us here from a local machine shop and they would like us to measure this and test it to the dimensional integrity on the drawing. But one of the criteria on this part was circularity, was the GD&T call out, circularity. So very easy to do. It's um, um, a call out that is based on the form of a circle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure this counter bore up on top of this dial plate here and we're gonna test it for its form or its circularity. So what I'm gonna do here is you can see in, in CAM2, I've already got this part aligned. I've already used the datums of the part. I've aligned to it with an iterative alignment. And now what I'm gonna do is just test this circle or that counter bore, but I'm gonna measure it as a circle. So I'll go here to the measure pull down circle. And I've already got a plane to find out there that was our constructed datum A from my surface points on here. So I'll say okay. And then what I'm gonna do is just take the arm and start measuring that circle. But what I did wanna mention is that I like to keep the arm in the same orientation if I can, because the criteria for the circularity is two thousandths. So it's pretty tight for circularity. So I wanted to test it, um, but I'm gonna keep the arm in that exact same orientation. So I'm gonna just take the, um, take the handle in this vertical position, I'm just gonna to touch off on the equator. And what I'm gonna do is I'll touch off in eight spots. I like to get a handful of spots of, uh, of poking away here just so I can get the, a good idea of what the form of this part is. There's number eight and we compensate inside. You never wanna compensate or cross your geometry for compensation. So I've got eight points on there to form that circle. And I should have mentioned too that I've already got a constructed circle in my model that, um, that I've put onto this counter bore here. So as soon as I shoot that circle, it sees that, that entity out there and it compares it. So I've named it the center counter bore. And look what it's done. I've only got the diameter and the form showing. That's the only criteria this client was concerned with here. So my diameter looks like it's pretty sweet. I'm within five thou, plus or minus five thou was their tolerance. And then there's the two thousandths that I had for form, and we're measuring it at about eight tenths of a thou. So that's good, it passes that criteria for form. And what it's doing is it's taking the best fit circle and it's testing all of those points to that best fit circle. And that the band that's developed around the best fit circle is eight tenths of a thou. So let me escape out of that. It assumes I'm gonna keep measuring circles. So let's go now to our GD&T pull down and top option here, circularity. All right, this is the symbol that's gonna show up on your drawing, circularity. And let's go two thousandths. And then the feature that I wanna compare is my measured center counter bore. I'll say okay. Now look what it's doing here. This is very cool. This will uh, show my client the same GD&T symbol that they're used to seeing. And then they've got a two, thousand, two thousandths tolerance. And then here's my deviation, it's eight tenths of a thou. So I am passing, I'm not out of tolerance. And here's the feature, it's that center counter bore. So that's very cool. That will show up on my report just like this as well. So let's say that this is circularity of my center counter bore. And I'll say okay. Then that will show up in review features right there. So super easy to do. Once you've measured a circle, you can test its form uh, in, the, in the context of GD&T, which is circularity. So very easy to do, and it shows up great on a report too. What I would say though is measure multiple points if you can. Um, eight might be your minimum. Um, for me, that's pretty good since this was done on a machining center. I know that that thing was done appropriately if I'm getting eight tenths of a thou. Um, but that's up to you guys. Um, I would say minimum of six. Minimum of six points will give you a pretty good idea on form. But test it. Measure it a couple different times, maybe with multiple points or different numbers of points. And see and make sure that you can repeat that number. And then also make sure that your arm is in the same orientation and you're just picking up on it as you're moving around. That'll give you the best accuracy of your measurement for circularity.